part two, starting here pretty much where we got to last time with a C major chord sounding from three sawtooth oscillators. Um, in order to recreate the spectrum that's shown in this image. Why did we do that? Well, partly just because we can, but also leading to other things. There are some changes in the patch, but only minor. Dim that for a bit. Um, only using one channel output instead of stereo, so don't need to worry about pan. Mono output from each of the oscillators going through these gates so that we can select one at a time. Okay, let's just have a little look and listen. see what's happening and hear the motion that's happening. It's kind of moving but it's not moving in terms of pitch. We can detune these and then click on the keyboard to reset it. kind of pulsing that you can hopefully hear. And we can also see that the colours are fading in and out, going on and off at different speeds. And that's caused by the interaction between the hum between the harmonic content of the three oscillators. Turn up the colour gain, we can see just a single oscillator. Do Each of these spots of light we could think of as being a sine tone or a sine wave, setting the second oscillator, second oscillator to a sine. We can switch it on. I'm going to reduce the colour gain a little. three where it was before, which place is now this one that we're controlling in the same octave as the third harmonic of the C. By adjusting the volume on here so that it looks about the same amplitude, perhaps we could turn that up a little and then this up too. quite hard to hear that now on its own, but when we place this on the E, it's so close to where that is that it's beating against it. If we detune it, we can pull the tuning slowly past where it almost stops and gets faster and slower again. Hopefully you can hear it, hopefully you can see it in the video, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. If I stop there, it's not quite perfect, we haven't got the resolution to get it spot on, perhaps a tiny bit more. So it's still pulsing, still beating against it, but much slower, it's more closely in tune. Um, okay, I'm going to dim the volume because I'm going to set them back to this, and also reset the colour gain. 
and bring the gain back on this, put it back in the octave where it was before. So we either have the C and the E playing together, but the E has been detuned to match its fundamental frequency to the harmonics of the C. Let's switch to the C and the G. And we've got a similar thing going on in this octave, pulsing between things. If we look at the C on its own, we can observe that the G is only a tiny bit sharp compared to where the equal temperament line is. So equal temperament divides the octave into 12 equal divisions. So it places the, the notes equally spaced, kind of as a mathematical construct, which enables different well, anyway, that's the subject for a different video, perhaps. For now, we'll bring this back up. And... And adjust the G, so it's just... It kind of seems to stop. Visually, we can't see that it's any different because of the resolution on the patch here, but if I click on the keyboard, we can see in here that it starts to move again. So, pull it down until it's just about on, using my eyes and my ears in this area, whilst adjusting the slider here. And we can now listen to the whole chord. So we now have a kind of harmonically corrected G major chord rather than the equal tempered G major chord, which sounds like this. Which after hearing the harmonically corrected one, I don't know about you, but to me, it seems out of tune all of a sudden. But hey. This is um, part of my experimental music technology thing, and these are just observations um, touching on many aspects of sound making that I hope to explore in future videos. Next time, I think we'll look at the photo sounder spiral, the full version, the uh, demo of the full thing, and hopefully using a, um, well definitely, using something other than those reference tone oscillators as the sound source. So I'm Samuel Freeman, you can contact me through Twitter or YouTube or Google Plus with any questions or comments. Um, yeah, thanks and things.